Creating a new data store is easy. We right click on the data center, we say manage compellent storage, and say add data store. We say next at the first screen. We select the storage center we want to present the volume from. We select the host we want to present that volume to. We now create a new volume. We type in the new name for the volume. For example, demo VMFS data store. We specify the size, for example, 750 gigs, and then we select a volume folder for organizational purposes and click Next. We select Data Progression, say Next. Then we select the replay profile that we use for backups and we say Next. We now pick a LUN number, for example, 75, or let the system auto assign and click Next. We verify the data store name and pick the VMFS block size and choose Next and Finish. In a few moments, the new data store will be created for us. Next, let's view the storage properties of that newly created data store. We right click, we say Manage Compellent Storage, and Volume Properties. We can see all of the volume properties from that volume on the storage center, and even the data progression statistics of that data store or volume. Next, let's recover virtual machine data from this pre-existing data store I have. We right click, we say Manage Compellent Storage, and then we click on Recover VM Data from Replay. We select a replay that we want to recover from, for example the 2 o'clock replay, and we say Next. We verify the name of the recovery data store and click Next and we select the host that we want to present that recovery data store to and click next. We, again we select a LUN or let it auto specify and say next and finish. In a few moments the recovery data store will be presented. As you can see, we now have the production data store side by side with the recovery data store. When we right click on the data store and browse it, we can now see all of the virtual machine data that we can recover. Removing that recovery data store is just as easy. We right click and say remove data store. We say next at the first screen and then select to unmap or delete it permanently and say next. When we click finish that data store will be removed. Next let's expand a data store by 100 gigs. We right click say manage compellent storage and then we choose extend data store. We choose the new size, for example 850 gigabytes, and say next. When we click finish, in a few moments that data store will be grown 100 gigs larger. Now we look and that data store is 850 gigs.